A new survey reveals more than a quarter of adults admit that they don't always buckle up in the back seat. Research by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety found that 91% of adults say they always wear their seatbelt in the front seat, but only 72% are as diligent in the rear. Chris Van Cleve shows us why this important habit is just not clicking, so to speak. Chris, good morning. Good morning. A nearly half of all the people killed in car crashes weren't wearing their seat belts. But as more and more of us spend more and more time in the back seats of, say, cabs or Ubers, this new research out today seems to show we're being lulled into a false sense of security back here. This is why you should always buckle up in the back. Dashcam videos show the risks of riding unbelted. I always put my seat belt on. If I'm driving, if I'm in the front seat of a, of a car. Yet Mark Smiga says he never buckles up in the back of a cab, a place especially prone to people riding unbelted. The survey by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety shows just 57% of passengers buckle up in higher vehicles like taxis. It's absolutely not even part of my consciousness. When we asked people why they were less likely to buckle up, a quarter of the respondents told us that it's safer in the back seat, so they don't need to buckle up. But as you can see here, the unbelted woman on the left flies across the cab and slams into the window. Federal crash statistics show passengers in the rear are three times more likely to die if they aren't wearing a seat belt. Even if you're in the back seat, the laws of physics are not suspended. You still need to buckle up in order to get the best protection in a crash. That protection extends to others in the car. Crash test videos show an unbuckled dummy flying into the seat in front of it, crushing the driver into the steering wheel. You can see the difference when both dummies are strapped in. Every state but New Hampshire requires adults to wear seatbelts while sitting in the front, but 21 states have no such requirements for grown-ups in the back seat. And safety advocates are sounding the alarm. Oh my God! As more and more people are using ride-hailing services and those people are not buckling up at the same rate, we could see more people getting injured and killed in the back seat. 75% of the people surveyed said all it would take would be a friendly reminder to make them more likely to wear their seatbelt in the back seat. So, Vlad, a little bit of friendly peer pressure can go a long way. Absolutely. Chris Van Cleve reporting. Thank you, Chris.